was, was a deregulation of the uh, drug development process. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have drugs on the market for cancer, for a ALS, for Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. much, much, much faster if, we, if the FDA were not such an uh, organization that's holding back. It's delaying the introduction of drugs by three, five, eight, ten years. We have drugs that we know work. And so we, we bypassed that process. And we got a vaccine out in nine months because of the deregulation. And that, that first vaccine, that did save a lot of lives. Now, uh, I don't think, I think the big mistake with, with COVID was we knew from almost day one that there was there were three categories of people that had to be very that we had to worry about. People who were over the age of 65, people who were overweight, and people who had uh, other medical conditions like respiratory issues. They were vulnerable, and their uh, you know their death rates were much 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 higher than than the ordinary American. By the way, children were never never susceptible except for a very very few rare cases. There was never any reason to shut down schools. I mean, my God, children were not vulnerable to, uh, to, and they were also not, they did not transmit the virus either. So the teachers unions knew that, and they still shut down the schools because they didn't want to work, they didn't want to teach. So my point is, I was in favor of the first vaccine, but what I was so dramatically against is mandating that people get the vaccine. I, I believe in individual choice, and I think it should be the choice of every single American whether they want to get the vaccine or not. How many agree with me on that one? Mm -hmm. right. We never ever can mandate people in our military, people in our schools, the general public. You know, they, they force people to get the vaccine. I had to, I travel a lot. I had to get the vaccine because they wouldn't let me on an airplane if I didn't get the vaccine. That is outrageous and rich. I think we need to have a, a free market conservative yep offensive against vaccine mandates. Never again. Right. Never again. All right, guys. Good round. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to help you one day again. I'm a donor. I, I, uh, I uh, donate to the $5,000 a year to Western Liberty because I, I feel so passionately that in blue states like Oregon, you need groups like, like Western Liberty. And we need the foot soldiers and the generals, and I know that there are many of you in both categories in this room, to, to be active. We, we have, what, nine months, is it? Nine or ten months for one of the most important elections in our country in history. If we lose, you know, it's going to be bad. I do think we're going to win. One last point, then I'll stop. Do not believe the pool, the polls. The poll, every single poll in 2016, 85% of the polls said Trump was going to lose by five points or more, right. and instead he won. Yeah. So the polls are wrong, yeah. and we have to outwork them and outspend them, and it's groups like Western Liberty Network that are going to make that happen. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.